Welcome to New York. Uh, but Brianna, you said on the earlier on the car ride over here, you guys were like, wow, we actually made this happen. This is actually happening. How long had the two of you discussed playing together, specifically coming to New York to team together? And uh, basically, how long had it been in the works? And who was recruiting who and, and formulating this plan? That's a good question. How <laughs> long? <laughs> Uh, we were we were in conversations very early on. Um, you know, we were in constant communications, and we both expressed that we wanted to play together. But um, you know, I think of course we had to make the best decision for ourselves. Um, and you know that we we met with a lot of the same teams because we did have that interest in in playing with each other. Um, I think you know Stewie's a special individual, and and she's somebody that I was, you know, willing to, to meet some with some teams across the country for. Um, but ultimately, it was way more than that. And, um, you know, our goals aligned. And we both saw um, our futures being really bright here in New York. Um, I think for different reasons, but obviously a championship in the forefront. Um, and, you know, this roster is, is special, like we kind of talked about. It's not just um, the power that we brought in. They have, they have an crazy an incredible amount of young talent, um, and you know, we, we just wanted to add to this roster. We didn't want to come here and, and blow it up. We wanted to be additions, and I think that was the most important part. You were actually before me. Hi, Jennifer Williams, Fox 5 New York. So when the news broke, Stewie, that you were coming to New York, I saw an interview and Katie had called you maybe over the summer and said, hey, you can come here and build a dynasty. Yeah. As we saw, it's it's tough to win a championship, let alone have a dynasty. How confident are you two? So this question is for both of you. How confident are you two that this is the team that can get the job done? Um, I think we're really confident that this is the team that can get the job done. I think that you know, when we've been sitting up here talking about other individuals like Sabrina, like JJ, like Benaja, and really everyone else, um, it's just, we just, when you think of it, you think about excitement and the, the willingness and the want to play with those other great players. And um, this isn't something that's just gonna like, fall into place overnight, as Sue said, but we're, we're willing to, to work to, to make it work. And I think that that's what's the most exciting thing is, yeah, it's going to be hard, but also it's going to be great. And there's going to be a lot of experiences that, that us as players and, and really everyone else has never had. And, and that's the hope, is to really bring it <clears throat> full circle back to New York, get the momentum around the Liberty and put on a show for people every night. Um, I think for for me, when you think of like a, a dynasty, obviously you, you think of winning championships, but all, before that, before all the winning and everything, it, it's, it's all about the people that you bring in. It's about the winning culture. Um, it's about the commitment. It's about the sacrifice, all the, all the intangible things that you need. And, you know, I think from the top all the way down, you know, Jonathan and, and the rest of his team put together a, a great group of people that um, when you, th I think they have those. We have those intangibles. Um, we have those things that, and the ultimate goal is, yeah, we create a dynasty. Of course, it's not. It's not going to happen overnight. Um, and I think that's what we talk about when we th when we hear that word dynasty. It's it's about doing the things that you have to do to win championships and create a culture here that um, you know other players want to come in or you. Um, because that's that's the kind of place it is, um, and that's that's what they've started to create here, and that's what we wanted to be a part of. We'll go to Robert Robert O'Connell, Wall Street Journal. Hi, thanks so much for taking today. Um, obviously, a massive offseason for your organization, but you for another organization as well out west. I think a player like Candace Parker. I'd be curious. You talked about the standard thing championships. Uh, can you tell me a bit about trying to match? you know, what Las Vegas has already accomplished and just the excitement in the league of having these, this incredible player movement and these, you know, two what look like on paper super teams entering the season. Who's the question for? I uh, for both of I mean, when I thought, <laughs> when I thought about coming to the Liberty, it wasn't because of any decision that anyone else had made. Um, so obviously, you know, Vegas had success last year, um, and 
they've brought in more players and more talent, but um, I think what we're focused on right now is, is what we're doing here in New York and what we're doing with the Liberty. Um, and I think that as far as player movement, it's it's something that the league needs. And it, and with the old CBA and the ability to core players multiple times, it didn't really happen much. And you're going to see it happening a lot more. And that means just player movement, fan engagement is going to go from one team to another team. Um, it's just going to make make it more exciting, make things more spicy. You're going to look up and, I mean, it's going to be weird to see us in a Liberty uniform. I think it's going to be weird for us to see ourselves in a Liberty <laughs> uniform. But uh, it's what the league needs to continue to, to kind of grow the way that we want it to and the way that it should. And um, it's a hot topic. <laughs>